and Sullivan appears to have re-established his dominance in this round. This fight is already gone longer than some people expected. And the crowd is loving it. I have never seen it all the time. And Joe the respect of Sullivan is trading punches with the champ. Back and forth. Sullivan the champ. These heavyweights are not even right. by the specter. Big right hand from the outside. He's getting up now. He's piling on the punishment. Fights and things to be had. The hard time getting all the way up to the ropes. Whoa, out of nowhere! The champ delivers a devastating headbutt to Sullivan's jaw! And the specter is down! He's down! He dropped like a stone! What has gotten into Mike Tyson? First off, my son was not born Balrog. His name is Michael Terrell Tyson. He was a good boy. But he never smiled much. He got bullied a lot. But one day all that changed when he came home with his hairline in a kind of zigzag pattern. I say, uh, well, what happened to you? He said, ah, just some kids at school. So I was surprised as hell when he asked me if I'd show him some of my moves. Once his dad started training him, he transformed from this like scrawny little kid to an absolute beast. All of his time was completely devoted to training. It's rumored that once he put on his gloves for the first time, he never took them off again. Now I almost told him no, but this was the first time he'd ever asked me for anything that I could actually give him. I used to be a fighter way back. So every day after school, I'd show him the basics. No offense, <laughs> just defense. Ah, <laughs> uh, soon enough, I get a call from the principal saying that he'd put those bullies of his in the hospital. Well, that would have been the end of it right there if he just wasn't so happy when we were training together. If you had a child, and they truly enjoyed this one thing in the world. Would you take it away from him? I mean, he blew right through the silver gloves, the golden gloves. These other guys in his division, they didn't even know what hit him. I mean, he was, he was toying with them. He was seeing how much damage he could inflict on their face in any given round. I mean, he didn't treat these fights like exhibitions. He treated them like torture sessions and he completely dominated everyone because of it. Temptation saw Mike Bison fight one time. That's all it took. And when Temptation see a star about to be born, Temptation take action. I said to the boy, how would you like to earn more money? Then you can count. He give me the cold shoulder. You want to put a real serious hurting on the best fighters in the world? <laughs> From that moment on, Temptation and Mike Bison became the most powerful team in boxing history. Believe it. The world of boxing is a nasty place, and the people who say they care for you could be taking advantage of you. And Michael was never a man of thought. He was all action, and that can be dangerous when you let other people like Tim do the thinking for you. I didn't want my boy to lose everything, so I told him, no matter what, always get paid first. No one had ever seen persona like Mike Bison in the world of boxing before. He was loud, he was brash, and he didn't care what you thought of him. And the people, they loved him. He was on magazines, he was on the television, he married the hottest ring girl in Vegas. And the whole time, he was undefeated. He was, he was a celebrity. Pick it up! He often fought guys. I didn't think you were going to be able to beat You're me. making me angry. <laughs> <laughs> Once Tim got his hands on him, I saw Mike less and less. But I did see him more making a damn fool of himself on TV, wearing shirts two sizes too small so he could flex and pop them off before a match. Every fight, he got away with more and more dirty moves. Now, there was a maliciousness that was growing in him and everybody just encouraged it. A fight's a fight. You expect people to be nice in a fight? Get the hell out of here! You talk about excessive action. What's excessive in a fight? 
And that, that Sullivan thing. That boy didn't have no business in the world getting in the ring with Mike Bison. Not in his condition. As far as temptation is concerned, that was suicide. A single punch this whole round. Now Bison has demolished all of his opponents. He's Crown back into the ropes. Spectre Sullivan. He's just a joke now. Oh, He's out oh, oh, of nowhere. The what he's done is a devastating hit to the Sullivan jaw. And the Spectre is down. He's down. Disgusting tactics from Mike Bison tonight. It's over. The fight's over. The refs have called it. That's a definite DQ for Bison. <laughs> And this tragedy comes to a close as doctors are pronouncing heavyweight hopeful Joseph M. Sullivan dead at 2.15 this morning. Just hours after he was rushed there following a severe head injury in the fifth. As the headbutt is being taken as an intentional and clear breach of WBC regulation. Bison, three-time heavyweight champion, is officially banned from boxing. The only thing the public likes more than watching a star rising is watching that same star fall. And the media had a field day when Mike Bison was stripped of his title. Moving right. on to sports, yeah. Mike Bison. Turns out he's actually not a nice no! guy. No! Get out of here! No, I will not get out of here. He's not a nice guy. I know. I thought he was a sweetheart, too. But so did I. But it turns out that you can't ram your forehead into somebody else's nose. Now, wait a second. I thought that that's a legal move. No, it's not. I was with you. I thought that was a legal move. Turns out it is not. He became a joke, and then he just kind of faded away into obscurity. Open up eight. I ran with a mad gear for a few years before I hooked up with Shadaloo. I was working as an enforcer when Bison was recruited. Vega threw him a lot of money. But Bison would have joined just to be able to continue to express himself with his fist. Oh yeah, everybody knew Mike Bison was a terrorist. Reports on the news of a large black man in Thailand leaving torn jerseys at an arson crime scene. Who the hell else could it be? For the next couple of years, there were many reports of Mike Bison stalking, kidnapping, and killing various fighters all around the world in the name of the Shadow. And despite this, Interpol could never find him to bring him in. Apparently, uh, Bison's woman uh, didn't care much for his new lifestyle. When she files for divorce, uh, Bison becomes paranoid that he's gonna lose all his assets in a lawsuit. Fortunately for Bison, uh, Vega and his top assassin Borok were uh, susceptible to gambling. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. I gotta get this on record. See, this is why you don't go all in when there's already a pair on the table. <laughs> Not only did my boy Vega and the pretty boy over here lose four mil apiece, they also lost their names. <laughs> From now on, you will be Mike Bison, and you, Vega, and I, I will be Balrog. <laughs> wait, wait, where you going? Vega, come on back, Vega, Vega, where you going? You don't like your name, I'll give you another one. How about Sally? <laughs> <laughs> now eventually, Interpol caught up with the Shadaloo. And since its supreme leader was dead and all the other high rankers were MIA, control of the organization went to Mike Bison. Now, essentially, this was the first time he's ever fully been in charge of anything in his entire life. And frankly, he had no idea what to do with it. He instructed us to pack it up and move it to Vegas. So the most formidable shadow syndicate in the world transform into a petty gang by your weaponries and arms dealing repressed by protection rackets and graffitis. Within a few weeks, we were down to a handful of men and a few thousand dollars. You want to do this all night? Let's get this money. Shadow Moon on black. One more pass. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Red. What? And hey, what kind of racket is this? That table's fixed. Hey, Mike. Hey, somebody move the table. Hey, hey Mike. Mike. Hold on. Somebody move that table, Mike. Let's go back. That was the last anyone's ever seen of Mike Bice. Truly after that. All of the remaining members of the Shadaloo were rounded up and sent to prison. Oh, I hope he come back. 
He still owe me money. You hear me, my bison? You and temptation still got business. He hasn't been seen in years, and the reason is, if he's not in prison somewhere, he's most likely dead. My son got led down the wrong path by men who took advantage of him. But I know he'll be okay. I just hope wherever he is <laughs> that he's smiling too. <laughs> you got paid, son. <laughs>